Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be working on my 60 second doll. I am making Draken from Tokyo Revengers. So hopefully you guys have been keeping up with this show because it's so good, I highly recommend it. I never thought that I would be like into middle school delinquents or gangsters or something like that. But yeah, it's really cool. A lot of like time traveling executed in a really good way. So do recommend if you don't know what the show is. So I have here is Magnolia Way, the skin color that I always use. This is gold from Yarn Bees. This one is silver. This is black. This is graybeard. And this is the blonde, the yellow that I'm going to be using today, which is buttercup. And I also have my 12 millimeter eyes. So yeah, these are the colors that I plan on using. And I'll be back with the update. Actually, I'm going to throw in some silver in here as well. And now we will get back to the video. Hi guys, welcome back to the first update. So I just created both of the legs. This is what the bottom of the shoes look like. They're dark gray, followed by a lighter tone. And then I am transitioning on to black because I'll be attaching pants right after this. So we're gonna be joining on the black pants and then working all the way up. Hi guys, welcome back to another quick update. Just wanna show you what the body looks like. It's really simple, I attach pants onto the body. So this is what it looks like, the shoes, everything. Here's the back side. And I'm now going to go ahead and continue on to make the head. Okay, so here I did like a trial and error of printing the dragon tattoo that he has like on his head because there's no way I'll be able to actually sew it on or if this method doesn't work either, I'm just gonna leave his head bald but I feel like the tattoo is really important so I'm gonna go ahead and try to put that detail on the side of his head Hey guys, back to another quick update so this is what the cutout of his tattoo looks like and I accidentally ripped off a bit of the piece right there <laughs> Um, but it's okay. I'm gonna see if I can even use this on his head So I plan on just taking this gluing it on the side of his head I have no idea how it's gonna look if it looks tacky. I probably won't use it I figure there's no way I can sew this on this detail looks way too good And if you can't sew it to be exactly like how it is on his head Then I feel like it's better off without it. So here's what he currently looks like. This is his face I just add on the regular eyes you know, your basic generic white and black eyes. Here is what this one looks like. So it's gonna be like this on the side of his head. I, I honestly don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I think I got the size of the tattoo pretty accurate. I had to print this out like several times, trial and error, trying to see like what size could possibly fit on the doll's head. But yeah, it's something like this. See, and I use like one of those X-Acto knives. I got, I have like one of the knives for like the manga. It's like those uh, screen tone cutting knives. So that way it's really easy to cut out some of like the little um, edges along the tattoo <laughs> just to clean it up a bit because you know, scissors aren't gonna work very well. So yeah, this is the update. Hi guys, welcome back to another update. So this is what Draken, <laughs> Draken looks like so far. I added on his hair cap what it looks like. His hair is going to be pretty easy to do, I think. Very simple. Hair cap looks different than normally because yeah, I had to make it shaped to where it only covers the top part of his head. He has some like written kanji in gold, so I just sewed on like a line for that detail. <laughs> and then this is what the side of his head looks like, and yeah, this is what we got so far. Now we're going to go ahead and finish up his outfit. Hi guys, welcome back to another quick update. So this is what his outfit looks like when it's done. I gave him the little belt along with the belt loops and the little buttons, all the gold details on his shirt. Okay, so I printed out the tattoo design and I pinned it along his head. So I think what I'm going to be doing is just simply gluing this on. Hopefully it doesn't look too tacky. The ink isn't really dark enough, so my mom told me that I should like go back and fill it in and make it a little bit darker. So I guess I'll go ahead and do that. And I mean, I think it fits along the side of his head. I just don't know because it's like out of paper. It might not look so great, but it's not the worst thing ever. So I'm probably just gonna leave it there as detail. Cause I feel like the tattoo is just really important and it's kind of needed. So yeah, this is what we have so far. And I will be back with the final update. Hi guys, so I'm back with another progress update. So we're gonna get started on Mikey. I'm so excited to start this one. This, he's like my favorite character. Of course, he's the leader and everything, so he's super cool. We got very similar yarns as Draken. Uh, so this is Greybeard. Here's the same hoodie. I also use gold. Magnolia Way is the skin, black. And then the main thing that's different is the yellow, which is instead of buttercup, this is butterscotch. And then we have white. So yeah, pretty much everything is about the same except for the hair. His blonde hair is like slightly darker. 
So like same blonde shade but darker. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hi guys, welcome back to another quick update. So I just got started on Mikey's legs. So he has the same pair of boots as Drekken and he also wears black pants. And now I'm starting on his white shirt. Here's what the back side looks like. And yeah, this is the update. I'll be back with the next one. And I also got some of these LED light candles from Costco just because they give off some really nice light So I figure I could use something like this for the holidays possibly Halloween or Christmas or something And I don't know I just really like the feel of candles and I've been craving for something warm like this So yeah, hi guys welcome back to another update. So this is what we have so far Here is the entire body intact and these are the eyes. I gave him the same eyes as Draken and yeah, this is what it looks like. His white shirt, black pants. Here's the back side. Pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and make the bottom of the shirt, attach the arms, and his hair cap. So I'll be right back. Hi guys, welcome back to another update. So I, I'm just gonna show you really quick what I do or what I did to make his outfit. This is the jacket that he has over his body. So he doesn't wear his jacket like properly. He wears it like over his shoulders. So I, this is how I decided to make the sleeves for that. <laughs> it's just like two little thin flaps like this. Make it look like he has sleeves on his jacket while it's gonna be over his shoulders. Here's the other side. And then these are like supposed to be the little gold details, the little kanji, and then the little buttons. He has also some other buttons over here as well. So yeah, nothing too fancy. Here's what the inside looks like. It looks really ugly so hopefully that doesn't show when I put it on but yeah I just glued on the sleeves and then this is the little collar right here and then here's the back side so yeah there you go this is how I made his little jacket okay so here's what the jacket looks like on him and this is what I did for the rest of the body I gave him the limbs just like how it is on the reference the hair cap here's the back side so yeah this is what it looks like so far I think it's pretty good pretty decent <laughs> and for the final fun part, the hair. Here's a quick update on how I'm doing his hair. So just a few strands. I'm starting off with the two side strands and then this top part where he ties his hair back. And I'm using 12 chains for this one. So it's just probably gonna be like all 12 chains along the sides to create the layers. And yeah, this is about it. Okay, so here's Mikey's pigtail. His, not pigtail, oh my gosh, <laughs> his ponytail. And it kind of reminds me of like a banana peel, <laughs> like from the Mario Kart games and stuff. Just looks so funny. Anyways, I'm doing three strands, um, all single crochet, and I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the back of his hair. And I'll go ahead and show you the final update. Just want to show you right here. This is what it looks like. I left a little open spot for the ponytail and I'm going to be attaching it right there. The hair looks like so far anyway i'll be right back it's finally done okay so i'm back with the final update so here is what mikey looks like his hair and this is the back side this is the little few strands of ponytail that he has going on so this is what it looks like side profile and back to the front okay there we go it's the final everything is finished so happy with how it turned out gosh this yellow yarn that i use for his hair does make his hair look a lot darker but they do have different shades of blonde so i'm working with this one and then i'm gonna go ahead and make takemichi after with an even darker shade of yellow so <laughs> yeah that's what it looks like and then for the next one will be drekken oh my gosh okay so Here's what he looks like. I actually had to do a second attempt on his hair. The first one came out really weird. I didn't like how it looked the very first time I did it. I added some strands on the top of his hair, but I really hated how it looked and I despised it so bad that I had to like peel off everything <laughs> and used my exacto knife to like peel off the entire hair cap, which was filled with glue. So yeah, this is how the result ended up looking like. Here's what the old hair cap looks like. This is what it looks like when I ripped it off. It totally tore off some of like the skin yarn right there. Wow, it looks, yeah, it was pretty bad. It was really stuck on there. I wasted all this yarn. Oh well. <laughs> Here's the side view profile, which I really love how this part looks. So good. And now I decided to add ears for my dolls too, at least for the bald characters, because it looks kind of funny without 
ears and sometimes they have earrings which is what I did for him. I gave him the little metal ring which I took from a keychain, took it off and then I placed it right here. So it looks like he actually has earrings on which kind of adds a nice detail to the doll. And then here's the other side. So you can see like it's not totally perfect right here because um, there's some parts that I peeled off from the hair cap earlier and yeah it kind of messed up his head. There's like some dried glue on there but it's not too noticeable at least from a far away I don't think it is. But yeah this is what this part looks like. Here's the back side with the braided hair and yeah this is what it looks like on this side with the tattoo wish i could have done the tattoo part a little bit better like um there i'm sure there's like another way to do this detail without actually <laughs> printing out paper and gluing on his head but this is the best i could do and i feel like i should have that tattoo there it just it looks so cool it's just so important so far and yeah i decided not to add any um extra hair strands this time on top of the hair cap because it looks good the way it is even though it's gonna make him like slightly shorter than Mikey right here because he doesn't have that extra layer on top of his hair cap but oh my gosh but yeah as I was saying it looks great by itself and it's actually a lot less work so I didn't want to make his hair too bulky I am so happy with this and for the next video I'm thinking about either another demon slayer video or some other characters demon slayer heard that there's gonna be like a second season i'm not sure i haven't even seen the movie yet but i know a lot of people like it so i might make more demon slay characters it's a lot of work though you know those two in the back oh my gosh they're a lot more detailed than how i normally would make my dolls and i do plan on making more Tokyo avengers characters since i'm really into the anime right now so good so good i really want to get the manga and everything and yeah i will make the main character <laughs> talking bichi very soon anyways thank you guys so much for watching see you guys later bye